Politicians will abuse AI with maximum efficiency. Zuckerberg and Altman both approve of the EU's regulation proposals for AI and the next billion dollar AI company. You're watching the AI report. Let's get into it. The big thing on everyone's minds is how AI will be used by immoral, dishonest, unscrupulous people. And for many of us, the first thing that pops into our mind when we hear the words immoral, dishonest, and unscrupulous is, of course, a politician. Politicians are already using AI for fear-mongering and anxiety-provoking campaigns. Huh. Everyone feared how AI will be used by petty criminals or oppressive dictators, but we have the usual culprits spreading the most fear and damage once again. Surreal dystopian images, fake robbery videos, Deep faking and voice cloning political opponents are just some of the ways in which politicians are getting those creative juices flowing, baby. Well, I mean, are there people out there who still trust politicians? I think this might be a dying problem, actually. Maybe you can make my grandpa really mad, but will anyone under 35 be fooled by this? Okay, some people will be fooled, but then they will learn not to trust the person or entity that fooled them, right? Or at least that's what they should do. Anyway, I'm pretty sure the next billion dollar company will be the company that comes up with a way to prove that a piece of content is created by a human or generated by AI. Until then, my friendly advice is to turn down the dial on what you trust online for a few degrees. On a related note, Nina Jankovic, sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, but that's how people here would say it, a former executive director of the Disinformation Governance Board, has been the victim of online harassment Deepfake prompt specifically. The creators used AI to generate explicit video clips that seemed to show her in situations that never occurred. Jankovic was active in politics and has been part of public life and she has been targeted by attacks like this meant to humiliate, shame and objectify her and other women. In this article she sounds like, you know, she's gonna be fine, she has dealt with this, but she also thinks that women in other environments, especially more conservative ones, may suffer more serious consequences. Honestly, there is not much to say here. The last thing I am is a legal expert, but I believe the perpetrators here have committed a crime. In an ideal world, they get caught by the police, extracted out of their mom's basement, and taken to court. And, you know, in prison, they don't have access to deepfakes. Just saying. Mark Zuckerberg and Sam Altman both believe that the EU's effort to regulate AI are on a good trajectory. They both think that measures such as watermarking content generated by AI would be a good idea. Yeah, ties back to what we covered earlier, but that only applies for the big AI companies like OpenAI and Microsoft and Facebook, companies that, you know, try to respect the law and be legit. Teenage boy who can't score a date with Sarah from gym class will use open source AI to create deepfake crown from Sarah. He won't be constrained by those silly little regulations. I think our entire culture will change. It will have to change. Things like verified accounts and blue check marks will become a lot more important. And maybe even platforms or apps or even hardware that will verify a photo or video hasn't been doctored, for example, that will become a thing. Yeah, I seriously think this is like a billion dollar idea right here. God, I should start that business. Too bad I'm preoccupied with educating the public about the risks and opportunities of AI. By the way, since we mentioned Zuckerberg, are you watching this whole Zuck Elon beef? Do you think there's actually a chance they're gonna do it? They sound kind of serious. I think Elon will find a way to back out of it. It would be too embarrassing for him to eat a triangle choke from a guy that looks like Frodo Baggins when standing next to him. I actually like Elon better as a personality and possibly as an entrepreneur, but in a cage fight, my money is on the younger guy with some serious jujitsu game. Just look at this face. This is the face of a man who has killed before and he would gladly do it again. Tell me your thoughts in the comments, I would love to hear what you think. This isn't exactly AI related, but both people are very active in the AI community and industry, so it's kind of related and I would love to hear your thoughts. LinkedIn, or the only social networks without bikini posts, test generative AI for writing posts. I know we cover some serious and depressing stuff here, but headhunters armed with AI may be one of my worst nightmares. The very thought of LinkedIn makes me want to take a 14 hour nap and now all of those HR people that spam you with irrelevant job offers will become 10 times more annoying. Okay, a little jab at LinkedIn there. It's all good, it's all friendly. I'm sure the AI will be cool and will enable myself as well to be more annoying on LinkedIn as well, which is okay because, hey, it's LinkedIn, you're expected to be annoying there. 
A survey carried out by Irish recruitment firm FRS finds that 1 in 10 employees fear being replaced by AI and 4 in 10 employers believe the same. In other depressing AI news, AI might cause the loss of 800 million jobs worldwide. Okay, 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 slow down there, bucko. You're getting way ahead of this. I can tell you this much. I use these tools every single day. They still can't replace one good employee. Not even one. I guarantee you that. The best they can do is turn a mediocre employee into a better one. And that's about it for now. There's no doubt that AI will advance in the next few years and some jobs will be completely replaced. But look, for now, this whole AI revolution is constrained to the digital world mostly, which mostly concerns content creation. And hey, what a coincidence, I do exactly that, content creation, and I've been doing that for years now. I'm telling you, these tools are not there yet. I'm not saying they'll never be, and I'm not even saying don't get educated on how to use them properly. In fact, I'm saying just the opposite. But for now, for the next couple of years, those billion jobs should be safe. Okay, not a lot of good AI news today, it seems. You have days like this in AI, and that's the way it is. That was the AI report, the fastest, most important AI news to help you not become obsolete in the age of the machine, still brought to you by one guy in his small apartment doing all the research, writing, shooting, editing, publishing. You know that's worth a like and a subscribe. Go for it, and I will see you tomorrow.